Inanna begins her descent towards the underworld. of seven gates, full of love, full of light, full of goodness, pure in love, pure in life, pure in heaven, innocent to the realms of the underworld. seven gates, one by one. So, an item she carried had to be given at each gate, one by one. Finally, Inanna reached the center of the underworld, the abyss, the dark places, the places where many of us do not wish to travel. Finally, she meets her dark sister, Iriskigal. Some say the dark side of ourselves, the dark side of Inanna. Inanna also gave up her right to be a woman, a holy priestess and a queen. Here she stood for the basements, degradation, mortification, here she stands where none leave who have entered it, where dust is their fare and clay their food. They are clothed like birds with wings for garments, in the house of dust which I entered. I looked at rulers their crowns put away, I saw princes those born, the crown, who has ruled the land from the days of yore. Erishkigal willed for the death of her sister, but as her sister is withering and dying. So a pain within Ereskikul grows. Inanna has now become dust. Ereskikul descends even deeper into the abyss of her underworld, where she feels pain, anguish, anger, 
and as she cries out in the darkness of the night, so her call has been heard. She allows some of this anguish and pain to be released by the thoughts of being shown compassion by others that have answered her call. Through the release of Erskickel's nemesis, the powers of wisdom, healing and compassion have the opportunity in their raw nature to resurrect Inanna back to life. Inanna has finally conquered death. She has finally accepted herself for herself. She has become one with herself. But through this process, there is always a sacrifice. Eriskikul demands that before Inanna leaves the underworld, there is a sacrifice. That sacrifice comes from her husband, her love. The person that she shared her bed on her first night. The warmth, bonding love of light. The complete interconnectedness. The union of mind, body and soul. The transversed into the universe. Cascading together as one and all. And all as one. Her husband, Dumanzi, resisted this journey every inch of the way. However, he could not avoid his fate. He was finally taken to the underworld, where the agreement was made that he would take Inanna's place. He would carry the burdens to the dark side of herself. However, Dumanzi's sister showed compassion, love and selflessness of her brother. So this act, though a burden, she shared with her brother. She would spend six months in the underworld and her brother would spend the other six months of the year within the underworld. There is now an open portal between the heavens, the earth and the underworld. Inanna elected queen of heaven, earth and the underworld could ascend and descend at will. Through death, rebirth, there came transmutation, the budding the blooming, the death of the sacred rose of Inanna.